Located in the area known as the Bridgewater Triangle in Massachusetts, the Hockamock Swamp is a 200 square mile murky wetland with a bloody past and a mysterious present. For decades, paranormal experts and just locals have documented bizarre UFO sightings, monster-like encounters, and hauntings in this area. I've been doing, and you guys know this if you watch my previous Hockamock Swamp video, I've been doing Hockamock Swamp now for the last eight years, but I've only been here about 15 times, which is still a lot. I've never been down here, and there's a lot of ways into the Hockamock Swamp that I still don't know about. The word Hockamock means spirits that dwell here. Now, right now, we are meeting up with a guy named Aaron who actually made a documentary on the Bridgewater Tri Triangle, and he calls it the Bridgewater Triangle. came out in 2013, and it was a big hit around here. So we're going to get some uh, inf information with Aaron. We're going to have a little word with him. Kind of like, you know, pick his brain a bit. See, you know, give us advice what he thinks about the Pukwudgies and the creatures here and the spirits. So let's go do that. Oh, oh wow. It, Dude, it, that's it, sick. It, it used to look bad. It doesn't hold up well. It's kind of a cheap hole. Nah, it looks cool though. The Bridgewater Triangle sits within the southeastern portion of Massachusetts and includes a number of locations known for unexplained occurrences. The most prominent of which include the legendary Hockamock Swamp, and the infamous Freetown Fall River State Forest. The Triangle's traditional borders are revealed by connecting the dots between the town of Abington to the north, the town of Freetown to the southeast, and the town of Rehoboth to the southwest. So, so Aaron, can yes. you explain like why did you do a documentary here? I did the Bridgewater Triangle documentary for a selfish reason. I try to pick local topics that I know would draw a national audience. And I had heard about the Bridgewater Triangle back when I was in college and had done a short student film on that back then. This was back in like 2000, 2003. And then I, I realized that there was like this massive international interest in the Bridgewater Triangle, especially for people that are into the paranormal. Right. And so I thought, you know, if I'm ever more established in the video production filmmaking industry, I could produce a real feature length documentary on the Bridgewater Triangle. Cause you dropped this in 2013. 2013. Yeah, cause when I, I don't know how old I was, but I remember I was young and I would always come in this forest with my friends and I was like kind of lurking around and like, dude, how it all began where like, I was like, what is this in the forest? I see, there was like this floating orb. And back then I didn't know what it was, but it, it would like float around and kind of like chase us out of the forest. I, we would keep coming back for the entertainment of it because we liked it so much. And then, but more I kept, when I watched the documentary, that's when I learned about puck wedgies. Yeah. Now, what is your take on puck wedgies? Like, I just so I, I am a major skeptic when it comes to the paranormal and the unexplained. I'm not a spiritual per, spiritual person. I'm not a religious person. I don't really believe in any of that stuff. So I tell people when I walked into the project, I was a 99% skeptic. But when I walked out of the project, I was like a 96. Okay, so, so you did, had like a little... There was a few things in the documentary that kind of even made me as a skeptic kind of scratch my head. And one of them was Bill Russo's creature encounter, which is in our documentary. He's the, the older man with the fedora and the glasses, and he talks about out walking his dog near the Hockamock Swamp in Raynham and this creature came out of the woods and started to communicate with him and his dog got nervous huh. and the creature uh, said Ewan Chu, Ewan Chu and started making these weird sounds and trying to beckon him to come closer and that was this that that had happened back in 1990 and when I got in contact with him I was like is this a real thing because it almost read like a fictional story and he said oh no this is an absolute real thing that happened to me and up to that point the only existence of his story was on this obscure blog that nobody had really heard about 
And this guy just tells his story, comes across as completely believable, incredible, and I believe that he thinks that he saw something. Now, whether what he saw can be explained or not is a whole separate thing, but he wow. absolutely believes that he saw this creature. He said it was wow. about three to four feet tall, covered with long brown hair, had a pot belly, a face which looked like a chipmunk. I mean, he describes it to a T. We even had a guy draw a sketch of the creature based on his description, almost like a composite sketch that a police, do, police sketch right. artist would do. That makes me think Pukwudgies are legit too. Because they're saying, right, they, they're saying like, Pukwudgies are what you're saying, and they also say that they can morph into a ball of energy or a light, yeah. and like they're there to protect the forest. But they were they were like nicer back then, but now they became more evil. And I think that's because of the war that happened. I'm I'm, not, I'm far from an expert on Pukwudgies, right, but yeah. the lore I believe is that they initially were more mischievous tricksters, right. and now they have more of a sinister purpose, and they may you know beckon you to your death. That's the story. But that's the thing. So so we have footage. I don't know if you've seen it, but we we have a ball of light footage that was kind of floating in front of us. Shot around here. Shot around here. Can you tell us the history about the swamp and how it even became to be like this creature sighting? evil kind of cursed land because that has something to do with like a war do you know like anything so so the, one of the running theories on why there's this alleged negative activity in the Bridgewater Triangle stems back to a major conflict between the Native Americans and the European settlers back in the late 1600s um, back in 1675 the local Wampanoag tribe essentially rebelled against the repression they were receiving at the hands of the English settlers uh, at the time, the, the chief of the Wampanoag tribe was a guy named Metacomet, who was actually the son of Massasoit, who was the chief of the Wampanoag when the, the pilgrims had landed back at Plymouth Rock. Wow. So this was his son, and over that, uh, that period of time between 1620 and 1675, more and more restrictions and more and more uh, unfair practices were placed on the Native Americans, and King Philip's War was essentially the breaking point. And on a per capita basis, it's the bloodiest war in American history. Uh, right here, on these grounds. Um, you know, you, you throw the numbers yeah. up against like the Civil War, they don't seem like much, but in, in terms of the percentage of the number of people that actually lived here, Back it's still considered the bloodiest war in American history. Wow. So the running theory amongst the paranormal community is that the, the ferocity of that war and the negative aspects of it and the, 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 the savage fighting that took place during that war is what sparked this negative energy in the region and that some people believe the Native Americans may have cursed this land Correct. Uh, of the Bridgewater Triangle. Now, there's no right. proof of that. That's just a, a running theory, but um, I think that's the predominant theory as to why there's this negative energy and all right. these mysterious things happening in the Bridgewater Triangle. I've had my own experiences happen, but people are claiming they have the, they seen Bigfoot, Mothman, the Puckwudgies, UFO sightings, like there's more than just even ghosts here. It's everything. There are things that happen here or are reported here anyway that aren't necessarily thought of as being related to one another. Like yeah. what relationship does Bigfoot have with a UFO or exactly. you know, uh, ritualistic cult activity in the Freetown State Forest? What would that have to do with uh, you know, a Bigfoot sighting? It's all these things that are when you look at them are independent things but they all like congregate here in this in the this, this Bridgewater Triangle region. The, the Hockamock Swamp I think is viewed as the beating heart of the Bridgewater Triangle and that's where we are right now. It's one of the largest if not the largest swamps in New England. It's a major aquifer zone. Um, there's a lot of wild life here. There's a lot of parts of this, this swamp that have probably never seen man. The language spoken by the Native American tribes in this region was Algonquin and I've been told that Hockamock is Algonquin for place where spirits dwell. It's weird because like there it, it feels like calm here but then at night I've had so much weird things happen that's why I keep coming back here this is that's why I'm glad like I, I called you up because I wanted to know your take on things. Well yeah as a skeptic you have to ask the question is there something weird really happening here or is it because the region has developed a reputation for being weird that people just assume that, but because we're in the Bridgewater Triangle right. in the Hockamock Swamp, your mind automatically goes to, oh, that's a Bigfoot, or that's a Thunderbird, or that's, True. you know. So 
it, it, a lot of it, I think, could be explained by, you know, people's mind, the mind is a very powerful thing. Yeah. And sometimes people may not realize that they're attributing something to being paranormal just because they're in this area that already has this reputation. There was more than just Bigfoot reports in the Mothman. There was UFO sightings as well here. Do you know any of that? Yeah, the 1975 UFO story that we featured in the documentary. There were two radio reporters that were coming uh, off of Route 24 off to the 106 exit to head to the Raynham Do Taunton dog track to do some betting on dog racing. And as they were taking the exit, they saw this gigantic home plate shaped craft come right over the exit, flying very low, very slow, with like a, uh, sparks coming off the back of it, making this like low humming noise. It was like nothing they had ever seen before. Now you're talking about two radio news reporters. Yeah. They could not believe what they saw. It flew over the car, made all this commotion and sound, and then just took off. What ended up happening was they didn't realize, but hundreds of people across this region had been seeing a similar craft in the sky. And the Brockton Enterprise newspaper actually ran an article back then about what people were seeing. And the composite drawing in the newspaper article was an exact match for what these two news reporters had seen off the 106 exit. Wow, all right. So what do you think of that, Raddick? If you had a, what do you think of that? Well, I mean, if a lot of people saw it, maybe it might be real. Oh, the, yeah. the whole UFO thing, it, it, people, you gotta remember, it doesn't always necessarily mean extraterrestrial. Yeah. It could be a craft, some sort of top secret government aircraft. That's right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's great you brought that up because that's actually what I believe in. I'm not sure if I believe in aliens like everyone else. I'm more of the same way. I think it's just some, U so I think the UFO is just some top secret military thing that they made. That's exactly, that's literally what I do believe in. So we have Tyler here with us now. So dude, you know about the Hockamock Swamp, you read about it now. What's your thoughts on tonight? Uh, you've never been here so yet. So I've never been to this spot. And the craziest thing is, is that yes, we have these puck wedgies, but there's so much more here in this one it's, spot. It's like a buffet. So it's, it's exactly, it's like a buffet of creatures, monsters, paranormal activity, everything with to aliens going to Bigfoot. I know. It's, it's insane. Now if we capture some ghost stuff, because we are gonna do a certain two ghost kind of rituals to try to like bring them to come out. But one thing is, what they say, the puck wedgies actually did communicate way back in the day. Knowing how long it was, I don't know, but way, way back in the day, these puck wedgies actually communicated with humans. They did. But they don't now. I, there wasn't anything really saying on why they don't, but if there is any type of way that we can try and communicate with these things, we're gonna try and just show it our best interest, let them know that we're not there for any harm, and. I mean, if there is some type of opportunity, we might be able to, you know, who knows? You could talk to one of these things. I know. I, you know? All right, so we're about to be here right now. There's a parking spot. We got the ghost gear. We also got the camera with a new night vision thing on top. Dude. It's gonna be able to detect from far away. And that's just in case, if we did come across the Pukwudgie or any other creature, it's gonna just detect it. Like we have the best night vision on the best night vision camera. All right, well, it all starts here. We gotta go inside here and cut through these, like, power lines. It's gonna be a long walk through here. So, let's just see how it goes. You can hear the zapping noises, maybe, from all the electricity. So I have some kind of rules. If we see the orb of light, just, you know, someone kind of like, you know, I'm sure we're all gonna see it, but just, hey, shh. Shut, I'll shut my light right away yep. or use his right. or I'll shut this light off so I can still capture it on both cams yeah. okay. If you guys hear anything same thing just like oh, go, 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 go. you know what I mean because well, anything be then, right? No, I don't want to be loud because here's the other thing Let's say there is someone in this forest at night What we want to do is also be kind of quiet just because we don't want to alert them either oh, yeah. My camera light is gonna alert them before anything so I rather we see them before we, they see us. So I want to use the night vision a lot more just because of that reason too. Why? Oh, dude, this is like a horror movie. Yeah. Oh. Just walk through at night and Whoa. you don't even oh. know. <laughs> I, I think those are all bats. Oh. Wait, no. Look, There's no way. Oh. Yeah. No, they, no they, they sound like birds. Look, they're Look, birds. They're, no, they're birds. They're, they're birds. Oh, dude, this is insane. <laughs> As soon as we get deeper in, 
this will all be gone. These birds won't be here. It's just, we gotta keep going through. Remember to always look in the sky because apparently there's Mothman, uh, freaking <laughs> everything's in here. And look down on the floor, Dude, too. There's a dead bird right there. Look at no. that. No. This is a bad thing. Someone got taken out here. Oh my god. Yeah, someone got taken out. Just the birds let alone. I know. Oh! Dude! That's decapitated, like cut off. Why is their head chopped off? Why? All right, so one thing, it's creepy as anything. Yeah, of course. Dude, I mean, I this is a start. We're about five minutes in. <laughs> Just Not saying. even, bro. <laughs> and the, anything on this road, on, I've seen this, I've seen the orb, yeah, but really? I've been chased out. In the Bridgewater Triangle, there's been already reports and actual murders here from like satanic rituals in the Bridgewater Triangle. That was at Freetown, still connected within these lands. Dude, that almost sounded like talking. I heard talking or something, yeah. It was that way. It was. Oh, birds. I bet you if we did this whistle, all of the birds would fly. Should we do it? Like, if you blow the whistle right now, it's dating back to like war times. It could maybe even potentially wake up some of that residual energy. What's that? It's the... Dude, you can hear the lines. Yeah. See how it's getting quiet now as we get more deeper into? There was no reaction. None. Oh, it's an owl. It's an owl. That's an owl. We are. I hear the. I hear the owl. But when you hear an owl, it means either skinwalkers. Or it's just an owl in the forest. Yes. Take it how you want it. It's but we're in forest. Native American tribes. It goes along with skinwalkers. We know there's some creatures in here. I always keep an open mind now because anything goes in this dang forest. We'll keep going, but now I'm starting to actually feel like they know we're here almost. Like it sounds weird, but I don't know. Well, we came in with a whistle. I, I know, I know, you're right. All right, we're gonna keep going deeper. This is, I know we are now. This is the Is section. that a sign? Well, let's go up to it. But I know where we are. Yeah? This is the section where like, we turn into the forest. All right. There's no way, I, like, yeah. why this bush? All right, so, I've never been down there in my life. Just so you guys know, I've never been over there in my life. The only place I've ever went and seen the orbs was on this road and in here, which we're about to go into. Let's go deeper inside this tunnel and then we're gonna totally wing what happens. So the moon is pretty full tonight, by the way. It's so bright. Once we're in here, anything goes. Like, I've, like I said, I've, I've seen it all. I've heard it, the puck wedgies, I've been chased out. It all, for me, happens here. Now, there's way more, obviously, entrances and places to be where you can see them, but my experiences always happen right in there. You haven't gone further. It, like... I've been all the way down this path. Sometimes I've seen no puck wedgies, no orbs of light, and sometimes I, I've seen it. So, it's always random. We're going to go in, we're going to do some stuff. If nothing happens, we can even check that side, which I've never done in my whole life. I'm going to shut the lights off now, because if there is anyone in here, and they see us, that's not good. So we're gonna be doing IR in the whole time from now on. So we're switching over to that camera. Here we go. If we see any light, I swear to God, bro. It is 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. at night. There should be no one in this forest roaming it. They're probably up to no good. I don't wanna run into anyone. I will literally run from them or hide. So we're at the middle, by the way, as the wind picked up. Ooh, what the oh, shh, shh, shh. Hang on. I captured it, I think, for a second. I don't know. It's like a snarl. Dude. Should we turn away? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that was a snarl. I picked it up on camera. Right where things happen. The wind picked up. The wind picked up. Oh. Heard it again. The snarl, very faintly. Oh, 
Maybe shut the light and see if we can see it. Is there any pukwudgies or skinwalkers in this forest? I know you like to turn into an orb, a ball of light, and roam through here. One thing I'll say is we heard that you used to once communicate with humans. We apologize for whatever happened in the past. But the thing is, we mean no harm. We're here just learning. And if you can understand us, and you are giving us a warning, I ask for you to give that to us again, please. If you're okay with us being here, can you give us a sign? If you don't care, can you give us a sign? Like anything around here, can ha anything can happen. What is that? Oh, just boards? Oh, people shooting here. This is all uh, gun bullets. Now look at that. Dang. They cut like half that tree down. Literally, that's messed up. That tree can like, probably soon. But trust me, when you see it, you're gonna see it. It's, it's visible as hell. Are you here? Hello? We think we heard you. Can you say something again, please? Want to try um, randomly asking an EVP? Yeah. And actually asking, like, hey, is like, you know, like, is there a do puck, a puck which is real? Like actually yeah, asking yeah. it. Because the people, if there is people here by now, they'll know. They'll tell us. Maybe we can get some idea from the spirit world whether or not and this monster situation. And ask where it is. Too. Yeah. It's quiet. It's okay. I mean, I don't expect to always capture stuff. Don't get me wrong, but you just don't know. Okay. How many people are here with us right now? Are puck wedgies real? Is there anything strange in these part of the woods? I swear to God, something's peeking around the tree right now. I just saw its head pop out. Yep. Straight in front of me. You heard it? I heard it. You heard it? Move, nobody. Dude. They're all quiet. They're all quiet. They're all quiet. I heard voices. End that real fast. That's a duck. Okay. Can I shine my light? Are you on? I mean, I'm looking right now. But what did you see? I didn't see it. I, I wasn't in the right angle. Dead ass, bro. About four feet high. I seen this thing 
Oh. Yeah, I heard it though, so like. Yeah, I'm gonna we heard it. I think I seen you. You don't need to be. You don't need to be afraid. You said it was four feet tall. About four feet, dude. And all I see is from the side of the tree, right? Say the tree's right here. I just see this. No, I've oh. seen the shadow of it though. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's the first time I've ever, ever seen anything like that. Whether or not it's something out here or if it's paranormal, well, I have never seen that. If, if you saw that now, that means maybe we might just see an orb any second now. That's what I'm hoping. Well, remember, they shapeshift into orbs. Oh, that was so scary. Like, I've seen the shadow, but I'm like, okay, am I, am I playing tricks with myself? I mean, if you both saw it, it's got to be I, legit, we, you, you heard know? it, though. I heard something moving, yeah. I heard it moving, but I didn't see it. I are recording the whole time. Don't know. Are park watches real? What? Is there anything strange in this part of the woods? Did yes, there yes? is. Play that again? Watch. Is there Watch. It's going to say, yes, there is. Yes, there is. You heard that? <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Yes, there yeah. is. And, and right after they said that, that is when you guys the, saw the shadow correct. pop out yeah. from behind the yeah. trees. All right. The thing is, we're looking for an orb. The orb can appear anywhere. We can go deeper down there, come back here, a lot of walking. I'm not here for ghosts, per se. I'm yeah. just here to find that creature. And I want it. You know? So, it is about 11 at night or so now. No signs of orbs. And the only thing we really caught was maybe some shadow figures that could have been with our, playing with our eyes. Some sounds, you know, nothing too crazy <gasps> oh nothing jesus christ bro <laughs> what'd you guys see it's not there anymore it was up in like the tree line yeah yeah it was a quick little flash it was a big flash yeah and i'm recording now so went away. see i wasn't recording it, it but was, you guys just seen flashes so, cool. so yeah it was not above the tree line but in the tree yeah. line, and I just seen this flash. Yep. Could have been maybe electricity. I'm glad you've seen that too. No, dude, there's no electricity. It, it right wasn't there. a star. It was electricity. <laughs> and it was too bright for that to be a plane. Yeah, no, it was. But it was in plane. the tree line. If, if it was a plane, we'd be seeing it actually like yeah, across we here we seen or it. across there by now, and it's not. And it wasn't like a little dot. It, was, it wasn't a little dot. It was maybe the size of a baseball from where we are. Yeah, yep. All right, so you guys both seen it, so that's something. Now remember, they say up in the trees, they'll, you'll see orbs. Just so you guys know. I don't know any of the story. Yeah, so yeah that, that well, that's makes the sense. whole thing. So that's something. I wish I captured it. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna record, record the whole time. Yeah, we just keep walking? And maybe, We're gonna record the whole time. Back, you never know. Yeah. Okay. So one thing I do want to bring up really quick is the fact that remember when we heard the big bang and you jumped or well, because we thought you seen like someone in the, in the yeah. bush the first time remember when you thought oh if it was a deer we would have heard it jump around you're yeah. right we didn't that there was someone in there we heard it i mean tyler was like whoa that could have been anything but the thing is if it was a deer like you said you would have heard like gallop away it, it would have been running away yes so that is one thing i just want to bring up i don't know that could be anything, but I want to say like that's something. We're now walk, like I said, we're walking back now towards the main four-way intersection, and we're gonna go deeper. I've never been that deep in there before. The only thing I'm getting freaked out about is that if we do see an orb behind us, like I'm watching my back.
Yep. Who's there? We heard you moving. Do you think that was four legs or two legs? As you guys heard, clear as day footsteps could have been a deer, could be Bigfoot, could be Mothman, it could be the puck wedgies. We have no idea. But I mean, you can't make that up. I mean, that was clear as day, what we heard. Oh, no, clear as day. I mean, it has to be on the camera. Who's over here? I'm gonna go in a little bit. Whatever it is, it's not leaving. Is it in the trees? That is the weirdest. I mean, if they're tricksters, maybe they're playing tricks on us right now, making us think we're Unless they want us to go in there. Should we go? No. <laughs> That's like skinwalker shit. I would go. Go in. Go down there. There's no way I'd go in there. That's the, dude, that is kind of unexplainable. It, the sounds came from right where Radic was. So how do we not hear anything anymore. Dude, the thing is, I keep wanting to say it's a deer, but we would hear them run. That's the second time. That is the second time to where we've had anything like that to where we should have heard it run. <laughs> I agree. I actually do freaking agree. And I do agree with what Radek was saying is that I did only hear what it sounded like to be two feet. Yeah, no me too. Guys, there's nothing here. I know, bro. Nothing. I know, that is very unexplainable. I don't know. This, I'm gonna need people. Softer and softer as I walk oh, you're getting through. into the swamp, so don't go yeah. too far. Yeah, you're gonna sink in. How soft is it right there? Like, do you have to. So the thing I mean, is. If I walk any further, I might start sinking in. If we heard a deer, it cannot be past where Radic is for it to make that sound, which it would have been right here, which we would have it's, seen because. It's we right where Radic is, yes. Yeah. So, guys, comment below. Do you think it was a deer or not? And if it was a deer, why don't we see it go away anymore, run away, gallop away? I mean, you heard it clear as day with the camera. I was pointing right at it, and now it's gone. Radic's deep in the woods now. Radic, can you walk? Yeah, I keep walking. Actually, it's not. There's like patches of dry land. All right, but walk. I want to hear your sound. Okay. So again, that's literally... The same distance we heard. This and whatever it was, it sounded smaller. Does it sound like me or smaller? It sounded just like Just you. like you. Same sound, matching. Coming out this way, yep. easier. That's the same sound That's we heard, same, same distance. Same sound. They were right up to us, now they're gone. Bro, I think those are Pukwudgies playing tricks, but I don't know. I can't prove that, and it sounds stupid. Like Why does part of me wants to go back into the forest right now? Back where we just were, not all the way in, but like a three minute walk in. You wanna try it and go in? I kinda do. Yeah. I Something's telling me to go in again now. I know, like I said, the forest is weird. This forest plays tricks. I'm gonna go down just a little bit. Five minute walk over. Then we're gonna turn around and never come to this area again because we have more to look at. Well, what if we go down and we turn back and it takes us somewhere else like Blair Witch? Oh my God, I <laughs> doubt it, but that'd be insane. I'll kill myself before they kill me. So right now my theory is, is like, we, you know, we went inside, we had a few 
movements, few things truckle, tr trick us a little bit. We came out here right at the entrance before we would even go in to leave or whatever. We heard it again, but full on movement. The crazy ever. Radic goes, checks it out. There's nothing there. All of a sudden we're about to leave. You hear a little bit of footsteps again over there. They're tricking us if that's what it is. So now I feel like because they didn't show themselves fully or an orb of light down there. Now they wouldn't expect us to go back in there. We're going to go back in there first. Try to trick them. Nothing happens. We're going to leave and move on. It's going to get super late. So I don't want to stay out here super late, but <clears throat> all right. It is spooky looking for creatures though. I never thought, you know, instead of looking for ghosts, we're looking for creatures, monsters. So we walked our distance. We're now turning around for good and walking out, going to different areas. But again, we heard, we thought we heard whispers or something. <clears throat> I kept it on record. Maybe we didn't hear anything, but yeah, maybe there is nothing going on right now. We are now out of the forest, but we did not see any orbs or hear anything at that moment. So has there been reports of bodies found in Freetown at all? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. uh, and, and, and we don't know what they're tied to. It just could just be murder victims. So. Why are there gunshots? You know, our mind's going to start playing tricks on us out here. Those are the people's lights. That's coming from this way. No, it's not. It was behind us. Oh, shit. As you guys can see right now, we are getting into the Bridgewater Triangle again, but this time at Freetown State Forest. Now, Freetown State Forest is really dark and evil. It's like the evil side to the good side of Hockamock Swamp. Think of Bridgewater Triangle as a state and think of cities within that. So we did the city, which is Hockamock Swamp, and now we're in the next city over within the state and that's called Freetown State Forest. And pretty much what this place is known for is the dark and satanic rituals that happened here. And you can look this up anywhere, it's all online. Crazy dark stuff has happened here. I have a bunker that we're trying to find right now as we speak that had literally uh, child sacrifices, child molestation, people were doing rituals inside this bunker. Now this bunker has already been collapsed like the, the city or something collapsed it after what happened, but in the 1980s, so much satanic cults and stuff was happening here. And to this day, right now, the one thing we should be worried about is not Pukwudgies, not Bigfoot, not Mothman, but in fact, people lurking in the forest here because they found bodies dumped here. They're, they've been, they're, to this day, even the Conjuring House owner, Corey, have found a goat that's been sacrificed here. Some of my people who we've interviewed, you can, you know, they found like satanic statues, idols. There are still, in, there's still a group here doing rituals and forest stuff. I don't know what kind of forest satanic ritual stuff they're doing here, but it is still happening. So we're gonna go meet Aaron again, but we're also gonna meet another guy who is Jeff Belanger. And they're both, or him, is gonna tell us more about the forest so we can get an idea of it. And they're gonna show us the hot spots and the places that we need to go to tonight. something in the back seat that is dark and you guys might judge me for it and it is definitely strange I'm not telling you what it is yet until we're filming with it all right we are here now I don't know this is it like this is it. I don't know where to go. Like, look at this thing. It's just like entrances and entrances inside. Which one do you think they're in? Inside or this side? I don't know, man. I like I like the look of this side. Just you know, there's more to it. Yeah, it looks more like spookier. I mean, we are. Oh, oh, someone's coming off this road right now. Down here. Oh, well, maybe this is the people. I didn't even tell them we were here yet, but I did. They have an idea. I'm gonna tell them right now we're here. We are here. 
So they're in the forest right now. Bridgewater Triangle guys right here, if you remember from the last one, he's already in there. So we're just kind of like waiting for him to come out to meet us. Cause like, I don't know where I'm going, but it, hey, I mean, we're back. The Freetown Fall River State Forest could very possibly be the most feared. Commonly referred to as simply the Freetown State Forest. The area is a 10,000 acre state preserve located within the lower right hand portion of the Bridgewater Triangle. The forest has a long history of reported paranormal activity, including a series of ghostly hauntings and unexplained creature sightings. But unlike other locations within the Bridgewater Triangle, the Freetown State Forest has seen a disproportionate amount of criminal activity. I swear, man, this if there's we, something about these woods, like, you know? No, no, it is because like we're driving up here and it just feels darker than even Hockamock. Yeah. And then knowing the history and everything about them, like, dude, Kind of weird out here for sure. If you're in Providence or you're in Boston, this is where you dump a body. Seriously, right? Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. We're just trying to find this bunker. So unless we can all hop back in your car and we're gonna search for it. We just went an hour through the woods. <laughs> so me and it's hunting season. Now we have kind of a better idea, I think. I mean I have a lot of a lot of lights in case. But it's up to, I mean it's up to you guys. We wanna wind up like in this vicinity. That's right. what we want. Okay. It's somewhere in the back corner of that guy's front door. Yeah, so we're here, right? We're standing here. It's somewhere in near that stream up here that's on this property. Right. All right, so this is going good so far. We're looking for the bunker, and we also don't know uh, where the free rock is or this all this place, and it's gonna be dark by the time we even get to those. And so we don't know what we're investigating. We're just going with it. And you heard, you heard Jeff, he said this is the place where you dump the bodies and it's really true. This place, you've seen by the drone shots, it goes super, I don't know how much acres is here, but it is enough to get completely lost. All right, so we're here with Jeff. Aaron's with us as well, but we're gonna talk to Jeff and hear his point of view on Freetown State Forest and what he knows on it as we're walking to try to find this bunker because sun's gonna drop soon. And we don't know what's out there, but yeah, can you tell me how many acres and, and, and you know the history and everything about this place? So it's 5,000 acres. It's huge. Right. It's absolutely massive. And it's been a preserve for more than a century now, but like this is, it's been forever wild. And there's a call to the woods, if you think about it, right? Yeah. There's, um, so I love the woods. I hike, I'm, I'm, I climb mountains. And so to me, it's, it's a very natural place, but it's also a place to go when you don't want to be seen. And so people have come in here for years and they've dumped bodies. There's been cult rituals in here, uh, all kinds of terrible stuff. And the thing about that is that once something bad happens, uh, th there's an energy to that. Other stuff gets drawn to it. And the example I like to give is, um, you know the number one place in the United States to take your own life? No. It's Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. All more, right. more suicides there than anywhere else. And the reason is someone did it. And then someone else did it. And ah. suddenly it became a thing. Like you don't have to believe in anything paranormal or otherwise, but like it became a thing. And so as soon as like one body's found here and then another body's found here, uh, suddenly this is the place where you do it. During the 1970s, 80s and 90s, rumors of a satanic cult operating within the forest spread fear throughout the local community. Evidence of gruesome animal sacrifices substantiated the rumors and prompted local law enforcement officials to launch investigations into the strange activity. Retired Freetown Police Lieutenant Detective Alan Alves spent much of his career researching the activity of satanic cults in the region and was responsible for the investigations concerning the slaughtered animals. During his many years of investigating cult activity, Alves has seen many strange and disturbing things. The bunker we're going to back in the 1980s, there's been like a lot of like cults and rituals and things that was happening. Can you tell me like more about that? Yeah, it was like 1989. Um, this this hunter found this this like bunker that was carved into a hill, and uh, and there was a tarp on it. And the only reason he found it is because I mean you'd walk right by it. You had to be looking just the right way. And inside they found uh, dolls with like the eyes cut out. They found um, you know a cult of paraphernalia, right. all kinds of weird things, little chairs, restraints, and uh, children's, clothes. children's clothes, yeah. So yeah. Alan Alves was brought in, who's a police officer who specializes in cults, and they found all this weird stuff, but couldn't connect it to anything. So it's one thing to find all this bad stuff and know that something horrible probably happened here, right? but without a witness, without a complaint, without a body, what can you do with it? 
Nothing. Nothing. So it's just one of those things that those of us that pay attention to the Bridgewater Triangle think about. Carl Drew, who was a self-proclaimed Satanist, referred to himself as Satan, um, had a, a shack out here in these woods, and that's where they definitely performed some kind of right. satanic rituals. Now, he was also a pimp, right? I mean, a literal yep. pimp, and he had prostitutes, and, and so was he using Satanism to control them? Um, the other thing, too, that's so hard for us to understand today is that we're so used to the internet. Every weird idea you have, someone else out there has it too, and you can find them online. Back then, people who didn't belong, like they just sort of found each other organically, and that's how cults were formed, right? I mean, right. it was just people got together, and so poor, broken people, prostitutes, pimps, drug addicts, uh, got together in Fall River, and then he had this shack out in the woods where, who knows what took place, right? Yeah. Just scary stuff. So has there been reports of bodies found in Freetown at all? Oh, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah, oh, okay. uh, and, and, and we don't know what they're tied to. Just could just be murder victims. I mean, there's right. been plenty of uh, and some of them i heard are even unreported you could find one out there today i, I mean, know like who yeah. knows right yeah, but no, yeah no true. i mean there's been bodies found wrapped in carpets yeah so here's the thing if, if you were up to no good in providence or fall river or you know new right. bedford anywhere down that this way uh you need a place to get rid of the body and you know you right. can drive out here you can walk a couple hundred yards in the woods and what are the chances someone's going to find exactly it? the other aspect is the paranormal aspect and the history on that so do you think there's puckwudgies here or Bigfoot or anything like what's your thought on that? So this land has been untouched forever, right? I mean, this was, right. this was Native American and land. And was the King Philip's War also done in here too? Part of it, sure. Right. Yeah, this was all King Philip's okay, War area. Okay, so that was so, still doing. Yeah, so all, all the Native American lore, puckwudgies, Bigfoot sightings, whatever. I mean, it's it all, all done here too. It's all in here. It's all in the Bridgewater Triangle. There is definitely some stuff going on here, 1,000%. So here's something else to consider, right? So in the 80s, there was the satanic panic, right? Right. And the satanic panic was... Um, everybody got crazy like people pay, playing Dungeons and Dragons there's heavy metal music and so some some people for some people it was just sort of an identity it wasn't necessarily like a belief system but for others like they really believed in it and once you believe in it it's a thing right like tell, tell someone who sacrificed to Satan that there's no Satan it doesn't matter they were still killed right true and so people think they're doing this for power um, the the burial grounds nearby here right some kids this was 1991 right they, they, they broke into a crypt they cut the head off a corpse and took it out of there. Two two teenagers, a 15 and a 16 year old. That's odd. Like and that that just happened in 1991. And so they found the skull uh, in the nearby woods. Eventually the two kids were arrested for it. Um, Alan Alves, the cult expert, you know, we can't say that that was cult activity. Right. But who cuts the head off a corpse? At that age at, too. I'm yeah. not doing that at 15. No, <laughs> we, we were talking like, you know, 15, 16, I did some weird stuff. We would yeah. like sneak through cemeteries at midnight yep, or whatever. Yep, Wouldn't even occur to me to like <laughs> crack open a crypt and like desecrate yeah. a body. Like that's a whole other level. Yeah. We're at the Freetown Cemetery um, right off of South Main Street here in Asona, where this mausoleum behind me was broken into and juveniles actually stole the head out of here. They broke into the mausoleum and broke into the crypt. They removed the body from the crypt, the body of a female, and they cut the head off. They removed it and put it in the car, but as they were driving away, the smell was so bad that they ended up hiding it in the bushes. We ended up arresting three juveniles that were involved in that break-in, and they told them they were using it to get into a satanic cult. When they were caught, the story that one of them told was that they believed that they could gain power by drinking from the skull. So one thing I was hoping maybe you can help me with is like trying to find some hot spots that I can kind of look and go to and investigate. So one of them would be maybe this one I would come back at night for, or maybe like there's like a ledge that people like to sit on a rock. I don't know if you know where that is. It's on a ledge, yeah. Okay, or just kind of show me like some ideas that you think you could take me to. Sure. Uh, Bell Rock, off of Bell Rock Road. Okay. Which is also where they found a homeless drifter shot to death back in 2002, I think. Wow, all right. Well, maybe, okay, we can attempt to find this, and then maybe if, if we're also here, we can drive to that. A little trailblazing, but yep. we'll figure it out. And what's, what's good is like, if we found it, at least I can pin it on my map and GPS so I can come back later. Dark or not, I, I'll know where it is with Google Satellite. Yeah, we're looking for one thing that could be, you know, miles and miles of forest. We might not find it, but it's a try. I mean, it looks like we're on some old path. Can't believe right now we're literally looking for a satanic bunker in the forest. That's what we're doing. That's our life right now. But you can see it was a path.
Many locations in and around the Freetown State Forest have long been associated with alleged satanic activity. Two sites in particular have captured the imaginations of local residents. Swirling with rumors of child rape, animal sacrifice, and even ritualistic murder were a hidden underground bunker and a remote makeshift hut. A hunter who was walking through the woods discovered an underground bunker. And what this was, was basically built into a hill. There was an underground lair. It was then covered with a blue tarp and then of course all the stuff that you would naturally find in the forest. So unless you approached it from the right angle, you wouldn't be able to tell that there was anything there at all. If you went to the one side, it was dropped down and you could go inside. And it had some disturbing things in it. You know, some dolls with heads cut off and then a little tiny, tiny chair that a two-year-old would sit in and look like they chopped it out of a tree. Had some bindings there and so forth. It was very clear that whatever was working there was kind of connecting some kind of child abuse and perhaps child abduction with some kind of occult twist to it. There wasn't anything of any evidentiary material there where we could trace back to any individual group. very dense here. Wow, if we came here during like summer, it'd be so overgrown. But, yep. Is that it's gotta be away enough that it's hidden, but it also has to be accessible enough. Correct. That you can get to it. So what Jeff said is like, it's like it has to be somewhat accessible. So, and he, what he brought up, I didn't get it, I'm, I wasn't recording it, but he was saying like, probably or maybe wherever the bunker was, that secret bunker, it was next to a property line or a road somewhat accessible so maybe the owner of the property or land had something to also do with it or knew about it that's what we're you know he was thinking it makes great sense too we are out here I mean Jesus Christ there's pine trees everywhere I hear one bird Quiet. It's pretty quiet for being in the middle of the forest. Satanism just calls to some people because it's 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 a it's a dark calling. And so whether they started listening to certain music or getting involved in drugs or or reading certain books, it just kind of took them down a dark path. And then that dark path led them here. No, we definitely just circled. We circled. We just went to a circle. No way. <laughs> yes, we did. I remember being right here. Because I remember seeing this. We're real close to the that guy's uh, farm property. No, dude. I remember. We just no, we did because right down there's a stream where we just we were. We need to go that way. No, we need to go. This is pointing the wrong way. We need to go behind us. Oh, like whatever. We need to go. We need to that go. This way. Yeah. As you can see, the sun is coming down. We had no luck finding it right now. We're gonna continue this investigation and keep going to some spots, whether we're roaming the forest completely alone with just me and Tyler at night or not, but we're gonna keep going. I don't care what happens, we're going all in. So what can you tell me about the cemetery part and more about the, like there's a ledge I wanna go to. It's like people sit on it. I don't know if you can tell me. Ledge, yeah. yeah, if you can tell me more about those two, that would be sure. great. So the cemetery um, is, is the Sonnet burying ground. And back in, I think it was 1991, two teenagers, 15 and 16, broke into a crypt, pulled a body down, decapitated it, and stole the head. And wow. the skull was eventually found in the nearby woods, and the two kids were arrested for it. Okay. Uh, the Sonnet ledge, there's a, there's a story about the ledge about, um, uh, you know, it's, it's one of these like star-crossed lovers stories where, and, and you're right there on the, the Wampanoag Reservation, it's right, at the, it's right at the edge. And so the story is that there was a, a maiden uh, who fell in love with an Englishman and, you know, they couldn't be together and so she leaped to her death from this ledge. Yeah. The only problem with that story is that the ledge wasn't really there until the 1800s when it was built as a stone quarry and they pulled granite out of there and, you know, things like right, that. Right, so it's more of a debunked kind of... Well, well, that doesn't mean there's not something to it, right? 
right? Because this is a hot spot for all kinds of weird activity. And when you go to the top, there's all kinds of graffiti. I mean, I've seen, I don't know if it's still there, but I mean, years ago, someone spray painted like jump here. And kids have jumped from this. You can find YouTube videos where in the summer, they'll jump, totally dangerous. If you jump too shallow, you're, you're dead, right. you know? But yeah. um, but it's a long way down. It's this this ledge and, and people have come up there to, to hang out, to dangle their feet off of, I mean, who knows how they're feeling. And I think sometimes like the emotions you bring to a place almost get infused in it, you know? Right, like, almost like, like manifesting? Well, it's, or it's just like, it, it, it gets this air of whatever you bring to it. So if it's a happy place, then True. there's that, then it's, you know, True. you go to an amusement park and it's generally a happy vibe, right. right? You go to a place where people are sad and drinking and contemplating things, that sort of hangs over it too. And so that, that ledge has got, you know, even though you can sort of debunk the backstory, um, it doesn't mean that those stories didn't play out where there were people that were in love with each other that weren't supposed to because they're from completely different cultures and that they did sometimes end in suicide. But that ledge is there. It's, it's pretty, it's photogenic, it's like off on its own, that pond right below it. And then there's, there's often people hanging out up there. I talked to a, a buddy of mine once who used to hang out up there when he was in high school. And he said one time he was going up there and, and they were just gonna like drink some beer or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, he sees a, a woman standing right at the edge and he's just like, oh, hey guys, we're not alone, which is not unusual. Right. And then he turns around and she's gone. All right. And then he goes to the edge and he's like, there's no splash, There was, but there was someone standing right there and then they weren't there. So that story persists whether she was Native American or whether someone in the 1960s overdosed or something. I don't know. Right. What is the story about, the lady story? Well, the Lady of the Ledge is like, it's it's a, it's, it's, it's just, be it's a, girl a, that by it's the a legend. Well, right. a Native American girl in the 1700s that wasn't supposed to be in love with a, an Englishman. Oh, okay. And so she jumped to her death, but that cliff wouldn't have been there in the 1700s or 1600s. Right, so, okay. So that's the part we can debunk, but that doesn't mean... There was something else going on right there about that story. Right, and, and, and we just sort of put that... Right. That, that mask that's on That's interesting. It. Yeah, so I, you know, the backstory doesn't hold up, but... Uh, that doesn't mean people haven't right. had ghost sightings there. And oh, oh my God, it's the Bridgewater Triangle still. Yeah, so there's of that course. too. Right. And there's yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, the big one. Right. Yeah. All right, guys. So a big thanks to Jeff and Aaron. But before we go, uh, Jeff, where can they see your social media and what you do? Yeah, so that's my name, Jeff Belanger, uh, dot com is my website. Uh, Exploring Legends on Facebook and Instagram or The Jeff Belanger on, you, on uh, Twitter. And you have a podcast? Yeah, the podcast is New England Legends and you can get it wherever you listen to podcasts. Yeah, you know, this is it. I mean, this Aaron just it. left. I didn't get him because I was finishing up the interview with Jeff, but yeah. it's literally going to be just us here. <laughs> I mean, fuck. Dude, it's going to be interesting. I mean, fuck. We didn't find the bunker yet. Who knows? But there's just so much here we have to still see. We have the oh, we have yeah. the the pins to these places that we're gonna go to now that Jess just gave us. Oh, yeah. And now we're just gonna go into the investigation. Like this is it. It's like a Freetown scavenger hunt. Exactly. That's all right, so we just got into the cemetery where the two kids decapitated the the guy. Um, I got the pin luckily from Jeff on the exact point where the crypt is. I mean I'm sure we can just find it regardless driving, but just gonna do some stuff here some ghost investigations some some light investigations I'm gonna save the Estes method and everything like that till we get to the last point which is the ledge where all the rumors and stories of the lady this and that goes and sightings of everything aliens UFOs Bigfoot ghosts all are over there wow dude there's no one here it makes this place pretty spooky I think that's that it. straight ahead I think so it should be a, cr a crypt though that looks like a hut it like does yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it right there. Oh, dude. See, I should keep my lights on, like the car. Why not? We were gonna do a little ghost hunt here, but because the highway's right there, you can hear it, there's too much noise around us. It's not gonna work. But this wasn't a spot where I wanted to ghost hunt anyways, but I did wanna just kinda show this off for video purposes on the documentary that we're filming. Is this is the crypt right here, where the two teenagers came in here and took out what we think was, well, Robert. It could have been Robert or Benjamin, and they were buried here in 18, pretty much 40s and 50s. So they came in here broken, took the heads out. The kids got arrested. The skull was found later in the woods. It's so weird because there's so much satanic stuff going around here that were they kind of possessed? Did someone tell them to do it? Were they taking the skull and drinking out of it? Like no one knows. But I think it's really crazy because the history is there, it's documented, and it's real, and it really creeps us out.
what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into the forest and we're gonna look for the bunker but as we're looking for the bunker because we already failed once it's not the main thing we're doing which tr remember this is the Bridgewater Triangle we are looking for Bigfoot Puckwudgies Mothman creatures orbs of light anything you can name ghosts is in this forest so while we're gonna go back and attempt to find this bunker we're gonna get deep into the woods and as we're looking for this bunker we're also looking for everything else I might take out what's in this bag here if not we are saving it for the very last end of the video when we do an Estes method trying to contact that lady that is near the cliffs but also again we are in woods anything could be out there so enough talking we're going back in the wood it is now pitch black anything could happen all right here bro um i want you to stay in charge of what's in here <laughs> so you know what's in here i know what's in this bag you think the audience would, would ever guess what's in that bag if they tried there might be a 10 to 15% chance that some people might know what's in this bag. All right, now comment below. <laughs> no cheating. Yeah, no cheating. Let's get on with this video, guys. Let's go. We have two cameras back and forth, Rowan. One is night vision, but it goes really far, so if I can't see, that camera will see. Someone just was walking. It was freaking me out, actually. All right, they're gone. So one thing I want to say before we continue, I want to remind everyone, if we hear any noises, don't assume it's... I wouldn't assume it's an animal yet. Now this forest is also Native American, and we're and from the last video we f we filmed, we were hearing stuff that could have been actual skinwalkers because of the Native American grounds that were here, the war that happened, and the tribes and everything kind of connect with the whole skinwalker stuff. Even in the West Coast, it makes sense that it could be, but it could also be Bigfoot. It could be uh, any other creature like the the puck wedgie. So if we see any orbs of light, everyone study this footage. Keep in mind because we don't know what we're gonna see or what's gonna happen. But what we do know is there are satanic people around here, cult devil worshippers, so we have to keep an eye out for that. And yeah, there's a lot to look out for, but we have a bag of a secret item we want to do. We're ghost hunting. We're searching for anything. Let's do it. Yeah, so just so everyone is aware, was that? That had to have been someone's dog. Okay. Yeah, we just heard a howl, but I was like, okay. Yeah, so right now we're just going into the forest, so we're gonna hear some dogs go off way down there. We need to get deeper in here. So, so far, we're about 10 plus minutes in now, and we find this. Don't know if it means anything, but I figured I'd at least show you. Maybe it's just a reflector, reflector maybe right? For like a target practice or something, maybe? I don't know. Right. It's my know. only guess. Yeah. Something's over there. Could be just old furniture. We're keeping an eye out for everything and anything that's weird just because of the idols, yeah. satanic rituals we found. What? Heard something? Could have sworn I seen a light down that way. Could have been a reflection though. Yeah, like what's. What's this? I don't know. If I could guess anything, having an idea that there are hunters out here, yeah. this could be to where they take a deer and skin it. Okay, I could see that. And they're just ready for whenever that happens. I could see that, yeah, that's a cool idea. All right, well, we'll keep moving. Just keep looking out. I mean, we kind of just, I mean, we can't get lost essentially only because as long as my satellite works and the GPS, we're technically okay. Bro, my thing, and I know it sounds crazy, guys, as we're trooping through these woods was like, I worry if there are satanic people still here from the 1980s, which I know there are, but if they're out right now and they see us, I just feel like they're gonna kill us. I don't even say that, dude. <laughs> I know, but it's just, I just feel like that's what they would want to do to us. I had a tweet the other day and someone's like, yeah, you gotta watch out for the wolves that out here. I'm like, there's no wolves here at all. There's no wolves, but, but they have... said coyotes, but if they did see a wolf, my guess, bro, skinwalker, see, literally. If there's anything type of wolf, that is completely supernatural. There's no yes, wolves out here. Exactly. We have coyotes, bobcats, fisher cats, raccoons. Even you then. You can even go possums. You can yeah. 
do it's, any of that. I mean, there are now chance they've been migrating over and they've been staying over, but we have that very small chance of one percent. Oh, a bear? bear, dude. We'll see. You just gotta be super careful. Yeah. I can't believe we decided to be like monster hunters now. Yeah. Should have just yeah. stuck with the ghost hunting, like everyone else on Monst YouTube. Monster hunters during the winter. I know. What are we doing? I know. Hey, really quick, guys, for everyone who's watching, can you please thumbs up and like and subscribe? We're working with people that's that's knowledgeable, that knows this field, and we're just putting a lot of effort in these videos. So it really means a lot if you could thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and check out <laughs> check out Tyler's channel as well. Thanks, uh, guys. We're all out here doing a lot, and like I said, like Beyond the Dark goes hard. We do a lot of things first on this channel, and I just feel like we don't get the credit we deserve. So it really does mean a lot. So one thing that's good is when you see signs of this, these rocks, these formations still here in the forest like this it means there was some sort of civilization or something that happened here at one point whether it's 50 years ago to 100 200 years ago 10,000 years ago something was going on here so it's also a good sign so give you guys an idea this is kind of the bunker we're looking for this is what the bunker would look like now like you see holes down here maybe some pieces of wood and that's it this is essentially what we're looking for in the forest here while looking for anything else we hear or see out here did you hear that or no? Could have been a bird, but I doubt it. Air footsteps. Over there. Or maybe not. Thought I heard something. I didn't hear the whistle, but then I heard something in front of us. Well, either way, we're going to go towards it. No matter what. So, I'm on GPS looking around for where Aaron and Jeff thought the bunker could be at the same time. So, we're doing two in one right now. Why are there gunshots? Why are there gunshots right now? Even if it was people hunting, why are they hunting at night? It's illegal. That's more than just hunting. That's a lot. It's a lot of bullets, guys. Has to be 10 or over. And it just keeps going. I know. That's really creepy. Holy <laughs> Blasting each other like a shootout out here? I don't know. Hopefully, I don't even have a gun. Whoa, what? Did you hear that? Is that a whisper? It literally sounded like an old person coughing. Did you not hear that? I, or did you make... Did, I no, thought no, I was behind you. I don't know where it came from. You heard that though, right? Yeah. It sounded like a cough. So now we know that there are people shooting guns right now. While we're out here. So if we see the bunker, it's going to be so invisible, almost impossible to see. So who knows if we're going to find it. The whole video is almost about searching for a bunker, but to be honest, we don't really have an end goal while we're looking for it. We're just kind of searching the woods and hearing noises and seeing if we do find any orbs of light from the puck wedgies too. You know, our mind's going to start playing tricks on us out here. Just so you guys know how deep we are out here. I mean, it's ridiculous. We decided that we're going to stop the search for the bunker because we've already been searching for it for about three and a half, four hours. What are we, we heard a few things though that were... Yeah, so I mean, nothing like what we heard the last time. No. There was nothing like that. Yeah, Hockamock. We didn't hear any footsteps. We didn't hear too much. There could have been one possible I, yell out into the distance. Yeah, a maybe. beep. I heard like a beep. That could have came from anything, but I heard a tapping. Uh, screams, but could have been animals. Something I'm not going to just jump to conclusions here. Um, we have about literally an hour walk to get out of here before we now are going to... I'm going to see. I'm going to keep recording if something happens, but if nothing happens, we're going to just jump cut from here and start the mile walk into the ledge and sit up on it where the rocks are, and that's where the whole lady blah 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 thing is going on so. oh dude it's some crazy stuff everyone's everyone says it so i mean everyone says it's crazy stuff at night when they go over there and something dark and evil so 
So as you may know, we know that right through here is the start of a one mile walk to get to yeah. that ledge. But as we were walking, we already seen lights inside there, people. Could be anybody, could be nothing, but it's right at this entrance. So we might encounter them, but we'll just see how it goes. Man, why does this place seem scarier than the other fucking place? Huh? Thing is, what do those other people do? Just doing the same thing we're doing? We're now seeing water, so we know we're definitely getting closer to that lake where the ledge would be. There it is down there. You heard that, right? Yep. Was that like a girl? That was like a girl yelling. Yep. Which fits the freaking story. But just keep going. This is what we're here for. Maybe so. she, yeah. I'll just keep your light on for a little. Looks like closer we get, bro. Is that a beep? Someone's here. Someone. Someone just said yo. They're screaming. No, dude. No, 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 no. Fuck that. What do we do? Alright, dude. There's no. That's way too much. Even Wait, if that's real people. Maybe you should just shut your light off. Fuck this. I'll just turn around. You want to just go? That's definitely people right there. Dude, I don't want to play with anything. If that, like, we got to look at a safety thing. There's way too much stuff that happens in this forest. I know. It's your final call, dude. What if we kind of like spy on them? No light. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be too hard. I know. When we turn the lights off, no yelling. Yeah, I just might, I'm just curious. You, your light could see it too. Let's just see what what's going on. What do we do? We're at the road. Be careful, bud. You're like right there at the edge. Hey, boy. They're at the fucking top. Those are the people's lights. Yeah. There's two, at least. Did they see us? I don't know. That's the most lights. lights. I mean, I, should, I hope the fucking... The, the lights are off. Lights are off. The lights are off? Let's just go. Yeah. Let's just go. We definitely see our lights now. Oh, 100%. There's no way. After hearing all those stories, and now we heard people shouting and banging up there, I don't want to be near it. No. <sighs> fuck it. All right, so we'll tell what's... Fuck it, let's just talk. Let's just get the fuck out of here. We'll talk. from this way. No, it's not. It was behind us. Oh, shit. Right, let's go. Come on. All right. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just uh, that's up to you. Oh. So what's happening right now? Is they shined their lights more high and they shouted. That's when we heard it. Yeah. And we ran, just so the viewers know. And I seen all the lights going, so they could be coming down now, but I don't know. We ran ahead. We ran ahead. So I don't know what's going on. 
Yeah. No. I think it's a good call now. <sighs> okay. We have about a half a mile walk or so to the ledge. We wanted to use it on the ledge. I could have sworn I heard voices or something. I think Freetown State Forest is known as one of the most haunted forests in the in the U.S. Yeah. yeah. You see us? Oh. I just said I heard something here. Yeah, I heard. I hear. I'm hearing it, dude. Can you stand in front of the altar for me? But I know that you're here. <gasps> oh. oh. Are you saying it would help you if I was dead? Yep. Do you mind stepping away from that for a second so we know that you're there? It'll turn up. <gasps> Is there anything that you want to tell us? Is there something or someone we need to worry about in these woods? Evil. You. Me? Whoa, I felt touched on my thumb. I thought it was you. No. This is the part three, the grand finale, the last video of the whole Bridgewater documentary. We have Tyler again with us, and we got Radic back from episode one holding the camera. We are now approaching Upper Ledge Road. This is the road pretty much where you would have to go through in Freetown Forest to get to the ledge where we were trying to go in part two, where we left because obviously, dude, we don't know. Dude, we, 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 didn't know. we have no idea what was up there. And the thing is, it's like when it comes down to stuff like that, we have to be careful and we have to, you know, take into what could possibly happen. You guys know what goes on in these woods. We just got here, so we're getting out the car. Hopefully there's no cars out here. I don't see any cars, no, so I think we're, we're in good, you know. But yeah, you can check. This is this road that Freetown's on to get to the ledge. There's really no one here. It's dead quiet. It's always like this. Um, but we're gonna head up in a minute. We're gonna gear up, get our stuff on. I'm, I'm, again, I'm, a, I'm nervous, but I just also am excited to finally finish up this trilogy. You guys really have been, I mean, the comments have been good. The, the, the whole opportunity of doing this has been fun and exciting. And to work with uh, Aaron and people that did the Bridgewater Triangle documentary and we're making our own version from it. I'm just happy to be able to get the footage from him to even collab and do this together. So it's going, re it's going really well in my opinion, as long as we don't die tonight in the last episodes. All right, so. So you're recording, right? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna keep this legit. All right, guys, we are now back here. This is where it starts. No cars can go in here. We have about a half a mile walk or so to the ledge. Now, just to give you guys a re-update on the ledge and the Bridgewater Triangle, this is what this is all in. We're, we're in pretty much right under Taunton, Massachusetts. So there's a Bridgewater Triangle. It's literally a triangle that's within and, all right. So there's a triangle, right? Yeah, yeah. And within that triangle, there's a bunch of different like forests and swamps where like a battle happened with the Wampanoag tribe, uh, uh, the Native Americans, and pretty much the English that came over and tried to take the land. All right, so we're back on the right path. The boys are in front of me. I'm recording from the back. We got a headlamp, Radic. It's us three. So far, no like creepy signs that there's people here, besides the gunshots we heard. But that could have been anywhere. We're ready. Finally, get to show you what's on the ledge and complete this video. Here we go. Moving in, boys. some type of sound, but it could be anything. It could be the wind. What does that say? There's a sign over it. Attention. Oh, it's just like a graffiti sign. Whoa, there's a sticker that says, fuck those satanic hoes. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Someone literally made a sticker for those satanic cults and slapped it on the sign. Hey, there is legit cults out here, no joke. So right now guys, we are here with Cody and Satori and they collect a lot of haunted objects and they have one from Freetown Forest. 
Do. Yeah, so this object uh, is definitely interesting. Uh, so it came from a private case, so we can't uh, give too much information about what happened. Confidential case, but um, we can tell you what we can. Yeah, so this came from a house uh, and the property uh, borders the Freetown State Forest. And uh, what happened was uh, it was a father, mother, and two young children. And uh, the children uh, would bond with their father by riding ATVs. Uh, so they would ride through trails uh, and um, one day uh, the kids get split off from their father and they start riding by themselves and they come across uh, this statue looking thing and they thought it looked cool being kids uh, they pick it up and they brought it uh, back to their house without the parents knowing and um, so they put it in their garage and that night uh, they were a very religious family they were sitting around the dinner table uh, getting ready to eat dinner and the father sitting at the head of the table uh, bowed his head to say a prayer and um, what happened next scared the heck out of them. They said it sounded like a horse ran across the roof. Uh, they could hear the galloping sounds. And uh, of course they all sprung up from the table and the father wanted to see what was on the roof. So he opens up the garage door to go outside and he comes face to face with this thing looking back at him. And he claimed that he ran into a wall of energy and he knew that whatever was happening in the house uh, was due to this thing because they had never had paranormal activity before. So they slammed the door and he started asking questions. The kids told him that they found it in the woods and brought it home and um, they called us right away because they wanted this thing out of the house. Uh, but when we picked it up, uh, we brought it back to the museum, put it in quarantine period, and then that's when we started digging in to see what this thing actually could be. Yeah, now they thought that this idol had something to do with the devil, um, which looking at it is it is a bit intimidating, so that's yeah. kind of your first Well, there's thought. some like stuff leaking out, like yes. almost like a blood or red. Yes, or like a so we think it's some yeah. form of wax. Um, also, the symbols on it, we had to do some research and we contacted a couple friends of different faiths and um, a couple of pagan friends of mine were able to kind of tell us that these symbols mean different things depending on what you believe in. For example, the bottom symbol is believed to be an upside down symbol of Jumas, um, which upside down kind of is invoking not very good things in their belief system, especially Baltic witchcraft um, mm. side of um, you know paganism, that it would kind of be invoking not very good things upon the sender of the land. Um, if you look at it from Baltic witchcraft, craft also it can mean you know war confusion but i was also contacted by a few uh, people of different faiths like you know native american culture they said that some of these things could mean good kind of taking that land back kind of meaning harvest and bounty mm. and things like that um we believe that the bones crossed could be you know deer or some form of small horse type um jawbone and we were told that the top feather is some form of pheasant feather um and that is wax that is stripped down so do we believe that this thing was built to you know, cause, you know, harm right. or bad intentions on the family, we don't think so. We think that the kids just came across this and because they brought it into their house, that energy, all that intention that was put into it kind of started seeping out into their environment and they were feeling some of the residual effects from that. Uh, right after we got this this statue, we, we went around in the forest and we felt like we were being watched, so we left. I yeah, remember that. Yeah. Um, I definitely think uh, because of all the people that are practicing different things out there, I think that's also feeding the land itself. It's like know? manifesting the land yeah. to be more darker and evil, Absolutely. right? I think Freetown State Forest is known as one of the most haunted forests in the in the, in the U.S. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. It there's is. so many things. There's you know ghost trucks and uh, Monsters elementals and creatures. And, oh yeah. And yeah, there's yeah. so many yeah. things reported out there. So. No, it is. It's a it's a wild place. Well, we're we're actually going into the forest now. All right, we're coming right up to the fork right now, and this is when we bear right. Dude, all right, so we're getting there, but look at this whole branch. This was not here last time. Whoa, it must've been from a windy day. Like, cause last time we were here, this was, there was not a whole ass tree down here. That's not a cut though. That's a break off of impact. Oh, right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. So at this point we are getting very close to the ledge that y'all been waiting to see. I'm trying to get to, so. Oh God, oh, God. that's a huge puddle. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's getting muddy, so. All right, we'll see what happens. And yeah, what's in the bag? Right, what's in that bag? What's in the bag? Guys, and the thing is about this bag, think about it, I've been carrying it all of last video. We're now carrying it here. This, like, once you guys see what's in this bag, I don't know. I, I would personally think, like, he carried that the entire time. No, we're good. We made it. The ledge is up there. I can't see it yet from my own eyes either, but we're here. We made it to this point right here, and we just seen what 
I saw two lights, yeah. but then they kept like switching off from different sides. So we don't know how many people were up there at the time. Yeah, we don't even know what it looks like up there either. No, we're gonna no. find out. So this way, I guess. This way. Yeah. It looks like it'll lead up to the top. Yes. Whoa! Oh, that's a big light. Wow. Whoa. Put the night vision on that, bud. Dude, yeah. Bigger, yeah. No, this is way bigger. We gotta figure out how to get up there. The legend is that you can see a woman in white, I believe, at the top of these rocks. Whether or not there is, that's what I guess we'll find out today. But I mean, that is a high, high, high drop. Yeah. How are you guys on climbing? Because we got to climb to get up. Literally. But it's the only way. Alright. We're pretty much at the top. Be on the lookout for anything weird. Look at Clean. This is the entrance. Yes. We're at the top, bro. Wow. Can't see. Thank you. Hey, you made it up. Yeah, I couldn't see where I was going, though. Well, we're on the ledge. Be careful, though. Yeah. So, see. do we want to hear how far the drop is? Yes. <laughs> Guys, be super careful. Yeah, seriously. Wow, look at this view. Oh, no. so, I wonder what it looks like during the day. Dude. I kind of want to come back there today. Oh God! Holy! In May of 2008, a bizarre incident was caught on camera while filming a segment for Chris Balzano's book and DVD, "Picture Yourself Ghost Hunting." The following clip features a woman named Maureen struggling with what some investigators claim was possession at the hands of a Pukwudgie. Maureen! Push him up. Ron, you're still connected here. We're, Ron, watch her going back yeah, too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maureen? Come on, Maureen, fight him. Oh, come on, Maureen. Oh, crap. Don't let her go back too far, Ron. Don't let her get in the water. Yeah. Maureen. 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 Leave this fight. You need to leave this fight. It's not your own. Leave it. Come here. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave the father and the son to hold his throat. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. According to camera operator Andrew Lake, a strange light was later seen in the distance as Maureen recovered from the alleged attack. Big drop. Well, we're on top. I have one thing to start before we start this investigation on the ledge. I'm taking out the death whistle. Yep. Uh huh. And once we do that, my friends, we can finally show you what. Tyler has been transporting this whole time on his bag. And for those who guessed the death whistle, it's not it death that. whistle. You guys did guess the death whistle, but it's not it. You guys ready? I'm gonna blow it to kind of initiate it right. on the ledge. Ah! Tyler, Is it's it your time? turn. Let's take out what you've been holding for the last two episodes in the bag. All right, guys. Josh, do you want to say anything about actually, this before? Uh, or do you, do you why don't yeah, you Yeah, I should. Out? I have yeah. a whole story behind it, actually. All right, I do have a whole story behind it. All right. A lot of you are gonna think this is some weird stuff, and it is. It could be used as trigger objects. People and witches actually own this and have it, and they use it in certain spells. And a lot of colleges, actually have one in their college because I think this is where this came from. 
taking it out. I gotta take, I gotta be very delicate with this. I'm kind of scared to even pull this out. Okay. It's not a champion shirt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what do you got in there? Ready? Oh god. Are you serious? I have a human skull, everyone. And Tyler's been holding this human skull for the last two episodes because we wanted to use it on the ledge. We kind of wanted to get answers of who this person was. We also wanted to kind of see if it was a trigger object here. And if it's not, we might use it in another video. But I bought this skull from Salem, Massachusetts from a bone collector that sells haunted objects. Yeah, um, we're gonna set it down and we're gonna start an investigation. So we just dropped the, the skull on the center of the ledge. I am lighting up the candles. If we hear anything besides the cars in the back because there is some sort of traffic and road next to us. This looks crazy. It looks like if people came in here and seen us, they would think we're, we're satanic people. I think that's what they would think. We'll introduce ourselves right now. Putting on Spirit Talker now. Guess we can introduce ourselves starting now. Um, I am here to speak to the lady on the ledge, but also any other spirits here, whether you're from the Wapanog tribe or an Englishman. My name is Josh, and I'm just looking for some answers. My name is Tyler. Civil. 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 Civil War. Civil War. The, yeah. the civilness between the, the uh, yep. Native Americans and the uh, English. That could be something. And just to go off that, if you guys are asking if we're civil, we come in a civil manner, yes? We mean absolutely no harm, even though some of this stuff does look a little bit on the odd side. But we come to communicate, we come to learn from you. And we, all we do is bring respect. My name is Tyler. My name is Radic, and I just want to hear your story. So if you're out here, please speak to us. Nice. I'm waiting for the spirit talker to keep moving. The grave. The grave. Oh no. The grave. He's talking about this, the grave. Is this technically, I mean, technically, I mean, so. it's well, when you, I don't know, maybe not. It's it's, it's a it's a site though. Yeah. I mean, what are they gonna think it is back in the day? Energy. Energy. Oh my God. What is and happening? it's and it's going quick. What is, what is happening? It's funny because the wind picked up. The, at the wind same did time. pick up when they said that. One Energy. Went out. Energy. The grave and civil. Dude, someone's definitely. Hear my footsteps. Oh my Dude. God. Wow. Where? Try. Try and make noise. I low-key almost feel like I heard footsteps. Right before that? Yes. Yeah, yeah right, right in yes. back of you though. That's I hear it from both sides. Okay. Had enough. Had enough. Oh, okay. Had enough of walking around. We don't mean to scare you. But if there's any evil spirits out here as well, we brought you a skull. And we're trying to communicate. We know there's a lot of bad things that happened here. Do you feed off of that? Do you want it? Agree. Agree! Wow. Oh my God, all right. Dude, want to hold be in charge of that? Arm. Orb. Orb. No. Puck Orb, Puckwudgies. Puckwudgies, bro. Dude, no. Where are they? Did we see any? All right, hang on, I'm shutting off my light. Only you're a light on. Yeah, I want to look over a little bit. Just be careful. I know. Yep. Turn the light on. Okay. I'm stopping right here. I'm just looking for an orb. Whistling down that way. What's it? Whistling. Plus, they're going to have a lot of energy, guys. They have the whole river for you. <gasps> they hear us. We hear you, that's, that's what it said? So yeah, weird. we hear you. I don't like this, man. We have a skull here, we're on a ledge, and they hear us. Okay. I wonder if we tried two of these apps. Have nah. you ever done that? I have. Whistle, I just whistle. whistled over the ledge, yes. dude. Yes, oh. bro, what's the odds of that? 
What's the odds of that? Come on. Dude, that is that is that is weird. Seriously, right? Yeah, that's really weird, man. That? That's so weird. I don't know if I like this anymore. Uh, <laughs> I know Radic doesn't think, really exp like do that ghost hunting. I know. I, yeah, yeah so I, that's, dude, I didn't even think anything was gonna happen. To be dude, honest, yeah, he's happening. pretty much skeptic. So it's really cool to have someone that's skeptic come with us because we can kind of sometimes really blow their minds. All right, so can you tell us how many candles are Anna. out? Anna. Anna. Uh, and could that be? Is that the lady in ledge? Is that your name, Anna? That could be it. Could be it. I know. Someone's watching. Oh, someone's watching. We're getting these answers. I gotta at least take a REM pod out. Do you just hear voices? I could have sworn I heard voices or something. But it could have been the car. And. Okay, let's. While well, he's hiding. What does that say? We're hiding? Are you guys hiding over there? We just heard voices and it said that. Yeah. I'm gonna come look. Oh no, I'm getting chills throughout my body right now just watching this. <laughs> Maybe we should go with him. Uh, me? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I can't sting the right plug. I gotta make sure, if that goes off I'm gonna lose my mind. You don't need to hide, my name's Tyler. It almost Sean. Like... Sean, Sean, nice to meet you. We heard a, it sounded like a guy's voice too. Yeah, it did. Is there a Sean here? Can you give us another no noise or a sound? If you want us to go back over there, we can. We don't want to interrupt your space. But we are just curious on who you are and the story about this ledge. Yeah, I heard that. It sucks because they have a lot of cars making noise, so remember that it's a busy, busy road kind of next to this area. So I have to keep that in mind. Did you hear that? That sounded like a woman yell. Oh, it could have been that. Oh my god. A woman Take picture. Take picture! That's how we're doing. I heard it. Should I take a picture? Just in case we see something on the screen. Yeah. Also, just letting you know, we can communicate and talk another way. Over there, there's altar. a red... Altar! Altar! That's what we have Dude, that's yes, that's an altar! Oh, oh my on, god! On, it's a gravesite, an altar, yes! Take picture of altar, maybe! Oh, yeah, yeah, shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm a... Oh my god. Are you by the altar that we made? Negative. Negative. Oh, negative. That was fast, though. There's a... What I was saying is there's another way we can communicate. There's a light down there. No. Knocks. Knocks. You can knock it. So if you can knock or use your energy and come up to this device, we have place. Let's play... be friends. Let's be friends. After it said the altar and knocks and take picture. What's your? Can you give us your name? Are you Anna? If you want to be my friend, I have a device on the ground that's red with a red blinking light with an antenna. Can you touch it for me? We'll know that you're here and we could talk to you. You can use our energy, or the water energy, or even the skull energy, if you need to. I'm hearing stuff here. Oh, I heard that. That was a loud, that was a loud they, they never found me! The lady, in, the lady on the ledge! They never found me. Are you, you be- see us. You see us! Oh. I just said, I heard something here. Yeah, I heard something very loud over there. Are you, are you in front of me? Can you give us another knock or a sound or a noise? Many died here. Many died here, of course. Yeah, it's true. This is insane. This is insane. Hello there. Hello there. Oh There's God. multiple. Of <laughs> course. To talk to us? Bro, we gotta hold this and keep it going. This is way yeah. too insane. Okay. Again. We're, we already introduced ourselves, but can you please, so we know that you're here, 
come up to the ledge and touch the antenna for us, the red blinking light. So we know that you're here. Put all your energy into it. I'm putting this device right next to the altar. So if someone goes in front of it, it should like go crazy. Okay. What can you warn me? Can you stand in front of the altar for me? And the skull? So I know that you're here. <gasps> oh, oh no. Way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry? It just stood in front of it as soon as I said it. Do you mind stepping away from that for a second so we know that you're there? It'll turn up. <gasps> oh, 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 now it goes it's again. Like I'm back. Yeah. Oh. Are you walking through a channel? Stop. It's. Okay, let's do something. No, can we leave it off for a second, please? And I just want to see if you're able to do this. Back, back away from it. Thank you. So if you can, can you go in front of it, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. So just turn it on twice and turn it off two times, please. Just so we know you were fully here. One. Now back away. Yup. And then please go back to it. Now go in front of it again. I mean, I'm, holy shit. And now guys, just to let you know, it, it is facing this way. No, no this yeah. is real. Nothing, very real. no yeah. footsteps. This is all motion in front of it. What is that? I thought I heard something right there. What did that say? Say day? It said day, but I thought oh. I heard something right there. Everything I was that over came there. out of that device has been pretty much on point with everything we're doing. Everything we're doing tonight, that thing has been going off. This is working like crazy. I'm about to put the REM pod over here. This is insane. If we put that device over here, can you touch it? Wow. They are really here. They are. Maybe it's something with this altar type of deal. Well, I mean, definitely, dude. Look at that thing. Yes, please just get closer to this red thing. Touch the red antenna for me, please. So we know you're here. Maybe we can talk. Were you, did you die into the war? Are you what they call the lady in white? The lady that died on this ledge? Or are you part of the native tribe? It went off with the lady in white. If you're the lady in white, can you move away from that box, please? So. Hmm. So. Can you ask that same question? Because it seems like they're very responsive to you. If you are the lady the from the ledge, battery. can you step away? Oh, man. Dude, they, very responsive to you. Yeah, they really battery. are. Oh my god, they are. And now it wants to move, for, now it's going back on. Now it's going off. Okay, okay. So we can definitely ask a lot of questions. This is pretty nuts. Whoa, what? Yeah, this is crazy. No this is crazy. So just so you guys know too, Radic is also the editor for Beyond the Dark. Um, so he's here joining us on this one, by the way, and he joined us on the first one. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Should we go into music? Music, music, music of course, box. yes, let's play the melody. <laughs> what? Yes, it likes the music, that's why it's playing it, and yeah. it keeps stopping. Uh, oh my I think it might be a kid or something. I don't know. Or Are you a child? I'm just taking out the triangle again. I'm putting the triangle next to the ledge because you just never know. Putting it on. This triangle will detect from pretty much five feet distance of each side. So it's calibrating. And then I'm gonna stand on this side of the ledge and see if I, if I can get it to trigger, like come next to me. Okay. All right, we have a triangle device. You've seen this on multiple channels. Uh, we're placing it here so it can trigger the whole ledge from both sides. Um, I'm gonna step away, yup. Okay, now we're gonna go completely lights out and just stick with the ghost cam. And I'm gonna turn on this device again and see if we can get Car. anything. Car, 
I just turned it on, it says car, as if it's continuing. Yeah, we hear the cars in the background this whole time. Okay, plus cars used to like jump off the ledge, actually, I think back in like years ago, people would like run their cars off the ledge. That's what I heard. All right, we're gonna shut this one off now. Okay. Jones. Jones. Jones, is your last name Jones? Okay. That's a really very classic uh, yes. nurse. Nurse. I'm getting a bunch of. Well, are you Nurse Jones? Struggle. Struggle. What was your struggle, Nurse Jones? So after this, I'm upset. I'm upset. Why are you upset, Miss Jones? Are you upset because of the skull? Because you're trapped here? I have a device that goes red for no and yes for green in front of me. It's a triangle device that's blue. If you can stand on either or side, we can get your answer. Red for no and green for yes. But you gotta stand close to the edge though. Is there actually someone down there? Don't tell there? people. Don't tell people. Don't mm -hmm. tell people. Remember? The Native Americans weren't supposed to yeah. see their lover. Yeah. Mm. And if you're going to see your lover and they demand you see your lover, this oh. makes sense. What could have been the wind? I don't know. Green. Oh, green. No for. Was it? Would I say no for? Uh, uh, red for no. Green for yes. Look this way. I swear I just seen something. Walking. Dude, it's a green. What you're saying though. Yeah. So we're so we're definitely talking to the lady in red. It's Ben. The Ben's kind of confirming it. Do you want us to get rid of the skull and put it back into the bag? Green for yes, red for no. Hold on to this one. Hide. Hide. From who? I can hold this. Should we be scared of something? Is it because we know your story and talked about it? Are we in danger? Please say something through this or hit our device to let us know if we are in danger. Or hit the triangle device again. Green for yes. No for red. Do you know you're dead? I'm angry. I'm angry. Hide, I'm angry. Are you angry that you're dead? Why are you angry? Part of me wants to like start trooping around the forest over here. But, cause I was hearing so much. But then again, it's so hard because of how the cars are. Oh, oh. yes. For what? I'll show you. Yes. Green for what though? Was it to yeah. troop there? Because we were hearing so much foot, footsteps and stuff down there this whole time. Wrong. Wrong. No. Wrong about what? Should all of us go down there or just one? Or it, should we all stay up here? Give us a better sign. I need more. Tell us, are we going down there or not? I'm pointing at the direction I want to go. They stop talking and they stop uh, making the devices go off too. So far. Is the music box on or no? Yeah, it's Is it? On. Is it on? Yeah, walk about it. Whoa! Yeah, that just proves that everything was- Be fearful. Be fearful. Be fearful. Of what though? Like be cautious? Be fearful? No, no, I think scared of something. Like, be afraid. Oh, of right. Now it's saying, like, you know. But that just shows the music box was on point. I'm just saying. Don't tell people. I'm angry. Be fearful. Be something fearful. almost wants us, like, out of here, is what it sounds like. And now it just, it did, like, a whole 180. I think we, they liked us, and now they don't like us. We're coming down. Oh. You're misinterpreting me. You're misinterpreting me! No. <laughs> we don't look at you as anything bad. Unless is that what we're wrong about? You know what I mean? Yeah, no. Okay. Wow, dude. Yeah, so just to give you an idea of the ledge. Look like yeah, that's yeah. where you can see the drop. That's the candle where the altar is. And we're here now. More water. I wonder if this is where the people were. With their lights flashing? I don't remember, bro, honestly. I just know they were near here. So, it's weird though, because bro, 
So when you're talking, it's coming through on my end. Yeah. Like it said it's scared of Hannah. That's what it was saying. I know. Um I mean we we already know we had clear as day evidence so far here. Oh yeah. I really think we were talking to the lady on the ledge, but I don't know. Just think justifying by what evidence we did have. Yeah, there's a symbol on here. Yeah, look at that. Just like graffiti most likely though, but wait yeah, yo guys. What if we try spirit box? Like right here. On while, the while thing? This is more flat. Oh god. Not even really necessarily no, on here, but just go right in the Yeah, we should. Because we're a lot of the movement activity we're getting is somewhere here. Yeah. So locked. I don't know what that means, but most of the evidence we had up there was legit with the with the movement, the devices, everything, but we move everything here, try like a spirit spirit kind of box session here and see how that goes. So we're going to go do an Estes method down by the other ledge where we hear a bunch of stuff going on because we don't know what could be there. So it just said crying. Um, and we're going to hold the skull in my lap and we're going to... Oh, I could have sworn I'd seen something weird at the corner of my eye. All right, yeah, we're going to see what happens. That's the method down there, all our equipment next to each other. We heard a lot of stuff down there. We came back up here. We really do think there's something going on down there and they want to talk to us. So let's see what happens. I'm filming already, Tyler. Yeah. You, is the, it recording now? Yeah, it's recording now. Box. It just said, I like the toys as I'm setting up the music box and it just says they've upset me just now. Oh my. Again, it goes off. Wait, it's just been going off on its own, right? Yeah. That's nuts. Let's at least show this. Yeah, here. Yeah. Hang on. So they would see it. I like the toys. Second one, they've upset me. Dude, they're, they're really right there. Yeah. I like the toys. You yeah, put we're it down and then it goes off. We're setting up right now. I just want to talk about the SD's method so you guys will understand what it is. So what you do is, I mean, again, only if you're new here, if you watch Ghost Fitters, you already know what it is from everyone else's channel, including mine. You put headphones on. They're loud as hell. You can only really hear the headphones. That's it. So whatever's coming through the radio that's switching stations, it's switch, 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 switch. It's always constantly changing stations. And I'm only hearing the switches. So I'll hear some voices, I'll hear the radio, I'll hear whatever the channel's playing, but it's very like blah, 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 blah. Now, what comes through is like a word or two or sometimes sentence like, hey you there, or hey, when you hear that, you know it's the spirit talking to you, for the most part. So I'm bringing up what the spirits are saying, and not only I can hear what the spirits are saying. When you guys are asking questions or talking to me, I can't hear you guys. All noise is now gone for me. It's all out, and then I close my eyes, so now I can only focus on what I'm hearing. So I'm yelling out what I know is a ghost and what I'm hearing. So it's the, the idea of this method is, is like a, a, a thing, so you guys can talk to me, and I'm pretty much talking to the dead as if we had a medium. That's what it is. Hope I explained it right. It's all gibberish. Hope you guys understand. Thanks. I'm about to go under. We have the music box that's on and working. Um, REM pods behind me. If there's any spirits that's gonna wanna talk to me or play with our devices that you've been touching this whole night, now's the time because after this we are leaving. Anyone, or even give me information on what I'm holding on my lap. Here I go. You guys can hear it? Yeah, I can oh, hear yeah. something. Just gonna keep my eyes closed. I don't even care. I'm just gonna close them. I don't even need a blindfold. All right. Help me. How long have you been here on this ledge? They're back. Who's back? Him. Do we need to be scared of him? Me. Me. What does Josh, Dead. What does Josh have on his lap? Dead. We know you're dead. Dead! How many alive people do you see? Over there. How many living there. people? There. Right here. Woman. I kid you not, guys. What's your name? Can't. Why can't you tell me? Dead. I know you're dead. 
Can you not talk about your story? Give me. What do you Dead. Want? Can we help you with anything? Power. Down there. Guess. Are you down there? By the water? The water. Did you jump? You got it. The water. Over there. Oh god, dude, dude. Okay. Is there any way we can help you? Dead. Are you saying it would help you if I was dead? Yup. That's not good. We can't do that. Violence. Vile. No. Is that what happened in these woods? We're not gonna get Fre violent. threatened. Friend or threatened? Threatened would make sense. Alive. Yeah. We're alive. Yes. We are alive. Unknown. My name is Tyler. Can you say Tyler? You there? Me. Or me, Radic. Longer. Who's longer? Real. Yeah. We are real. What a grave site. Grave, grave, something. It's been grave all night. This was a grave. They kept saying it here. Is this a grave? Is this your grave? Perfect. Is it okay that we're here? Don't. Do you want us They're to coming. Leave? Do you want us to leave? Why? Well, I'm just asking you. Jump. No, I'm no. not jumping. No. No. Why? We don't want to die. No. I feel like there's two people talking. Knock. Can you knock for us? You're not close to the ledge, right? No, I'm pretty... Over... I mean, I'm, I'm close, but here. I'm not that close. Is there anything that you want to tell us? Right there. What's right there? Is there something or someone we need to worry about in these woods? Evil. Evil. Mm -hmm. What's evil? No. What kind of evil? Is the evil here with us now? Do you like that this skull's here? Is it okay? Relate? You can Me? Relate? Relate. The left? The left. That Portal. Left. Really? <gasps> that left, maybe. His left. Wow. The water. My left? That's weird. This way. Is that where yeah. the portal is? Yeah. Because you're at it. Back that's there. That's, portal. That's where we hear all those Back noises. Back there. Portal. And dude, if you think about it, there were so many names that were coming through. Yeah. Hold on, we're gonna. I gotta pull Josh out because it's been footsteps. Too long. Oh, dude, wait, wait. Yeah, wait. Give it a moment. What footsteps? Where are they? Threatening. Oh. That makes Looking sense. Looking at you. Oh. Jesus my God. Christ. <laughs> Did you just come through? The, the left. The, the left. left. Your left, then. Right here. Yeah, That's we're being right. watched. Are we watched. being watched? Between. Between what? Be there, Be between cautious. there. Bro, this is adding up way too much right now. Yeah, let's keep it. Let's keep it going. It just, he can't be under Carved. too long. Carved. Way it is. The way it is. Did the evil just come through? Journey. You see anyone there? His. Why does it almost look like someone's standing up there? Hello? Dude, I know, right? You see that too, right? I don't know. I thought there was a light, but there is no light. I thought someone was standing up there. Yeah, 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 I thought someone was standing up there. Yeah
was standing right there by like where the bags are. Dude. Me. And a girl's voice said me. Dude. Oh my god! Dude. The lady on the ledge! The lady on the ledge, is that you? Whoa. Are you standing on the ledge? Right now? Whoops. Are you at the portal? Did you fall? Heaven. Oh, heaven. It's heaven and hell real. You. Me? Whoa, I felt touched on my thumb. I thought it was you. No. What? You said Scottish. Dude, this is getting really good. Dude, this Hyper. What did it say? Hyper. Oh, no. no it's Genevieve? Genevieve. I mean, that's an old time name. That's an old time name. What do you want? What do I want? I want to talk to you. I want to learn from you. Hell, it could have, I don't know what it said. Hey. Dude, this might be one of the crazier SC's methods I've seen. Yeah, for sure. And everything's adding up with both devices. And that's the crazy part. And where we were just at. And How do you do this? How do we do what? One you down. Talk. One down. Over there. Oh, oh so. I wasn't pushed or anything. I slipped. Yeah, but it's you like, could have been the one down. That was. Corpse. The one on your lap or somewhere else. Myself. Should we pull him out? Yeah, yeah. Right, let's pull him out. This is not good. Around? Uh, oh! Yes. <laughs> Fucking hell. Bro? <laughs> All right. Dude, dude, when they said corpse and you said myself, it, you're it's, like, we need you out. There was a guy that said it. Corpse, myself. Bro, uh, that was the craziest SC's method I think I've ever heard. Dude, I, bro, I, people, a lot of people say, oh, look, SC's are fake. I can't hear you. Bro, I'm telling you, I can't hear shit. Dude, those things are loud. You can't hear anything. And it's a beat, anything. just so everyone knows. You can hear it. <laughs> Oh, you yeah. can hear it, bro. Dude. Dude. Even I'm picking up. Wait, well, I'm, I'm resaying it, bro. Someone touched, bro. I thought it was you. Wake me up. It was like a grace, oh but it was God. like a gentle, like grace. Freezing. Freezing. Dude, it both, is cold. I you, am it very is, cold. You, the box, everything was matching up. Everything to what we wait. Said. That was going good. Did no, anything else wait, go off? No, what? no. But everything. Those two devices were like communicating with each other, and they're telling us things about the ledge and the lady on the ledge. Okay. Like, if she's there. Was it a good session? Because like that I was, was saying some shit that even I'm seen. like, oh fuck. That was one of the best sessions I've seen. Dude, they sick. wanted us to jump. They wanted us to die. And then I said to Radic, I'm like, does it not look like something was by our bags? And then you say, or I forget which one. Something was. Uh, it's me. Okay. And then it just, just everything just kept going. Dude, honestly, it felt like a good session. Like I'm picking up shit that I knew wasn't radio. So there was some stuff I would. I, I was like, okay, that, that can't be it. And I just wouldn't say. Dude, I said it. I don't think there was anything that really didn't make sense. Dude, no. Dude, when I got when I got touched, it was just a little grace. It was like a gentle. And I thought it was kind of you like wake no, up a little bit. No. And then I got freaked out when you touched me. Because I was like, oh, Because yeah, I already yeah. got touched the first time. Oh, my God. Holy <laughs> That was crazy. I don't think I could imagine. Honestly, that it, that was my one of my my best session was dude. in a castle in uh, UK. But this was my second best session because usually I'm not wait, good with this. Wait Seth until is... you watch this. Dude, I'm ants. Everything ants. is freaking real. I just I, I just love doing this because it's, it's just so good the to thing prove. Is we left it on the whole time over there when we were still doing other sessions with other devices. Yeah. And it stopped. As if the person and we weren't I, really getting many answers, so they probably just walked away somewhere. Exactly, yeah. We know there's more spirits than one here, but I swear. On everything, I really do believe we were talking to the woman, if it was the lady, that yeah, lady no, over there. Because yeah, everything kind of went together. Here, I, I mean, at least by voice, it was getting so much different stuff. But it could have been, I don't, you know, you never know how the how the SD's method works. Like, we oh, don't, yeah. no one knows. It's all, you know, it could have been a girl or a guy, but then it came out on the radio as a girl or a guy. I don't know. It could have been a girl talking, and then it came out as a guy's voice in the radio. Yeah. You never know. So, so we're taking a skull. We're putting it back in here to kind of protect it. And then we're gonna roll it up. And we're gonna put it back inside the bag. Okay. I think we'll definitely use the skull again, but maybe not here. The reason why I wanted to use the skull here is because uh, when the teenager stole the head from the other place, and plus this is such a satanic, crazy, crazy area, I just generally thought the spirits would have like 
wanted to use the energy or the craziness out of here like the demons or whatever's yeah. here but that was my theory that's what ghost videos are about is about experimenting which is how the Estes method even came and how all these other people do things so that's why I brought the skull and I actually wanted it for a video um, now at this point we didn't get any answers I don't think of who this person actually is yet and I want to know who it is I think it's over 100 years old um, but I don't know so we're gonna use it in another place probably down the road um, it would have been nice to use in the conjuring house if I had in the beginning I think a lot of they could really talk to the past and see past those spirits are really smart in the comments below where do we take the skull what haunted place should we go to or what's the idea what should we do with it a lot of people like to bring these ghost tools as ghost tools and trigger objects this is my at the moment kind of trigger objects to get the ghost to speak and talk um, let me know in the comments down below. Let's get out of here. We're gonna get off this ledge. I'm rolling now. All right, I'm rolling. So as we're leaving now, guys, there's a car behind us that's going so freaking slow. And then this other car comes up without lights on, turns into the parking lot where we were after we were done, and then turns back out and goes back down the same road. I'm turning around, I'm doing a 360. Dude, that car passed us too, and I saw yeah, it and coming it just, to us. Yeah, I'm turning a 360. But I it was going see. so slow. I wanna see what they're doing. Oh my God, why are there two of them? Hang on. Oh, uh, there's one. Oh, what the f is going on? Wait, are they turning in? Oh, know. they just passed by quick. No, but what about this guy now? What's he doing? Why are they turning? Imagine they coming yeah, back. Yeah, no, let's go see. I Wait, see. What happened? Where's this person's lights? Yeah, where'd he go? I think he pulled into the. F Did he pull back uh, in? I think he. No, pulled no, he's didn't coming he? over the hill. Hang right, on, let's see. No, that, that, I think that's another car. You think so? I don't know. Let's if find it was, out. if it's like an old sedan with like a beat up trunk, then yeah, because that's what we'll, that's what we saw. And like why they yeah let's see hang on dude what? it might be another car because that one had like more washed out headlights oh whoa, whoa, whoa. they're why flashing they you us? yeah the high beam and us is because i'm is it because we're filming it's oh them. it's them was it them no nah, i think it was a different i don't know you i don't even remember no i mean we left now so i don't know what 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 goes on now but that's insane at least that we're out weird. before yeah all the weird stuff i wish happened, i got to man. record that first part yeah oh that God. was weird well, we, that we was just so packed up. weird erratic you literally grabbed the camera from the back yeah like, yeah we were done oh man oh uh, dude yeah well we're just, getting out just, of here just we're getting case. the out of here i don't yeah, care no, anymore let's go. i'm done freetown i'm done with bridgewater we did our experience the portal did you fall heaven oh. heaven it's heaven and hell all right all right so i paused it here so hopefully it's gonna work but Really quick guys, remember when I said I got touched on my thumb? Watch, my hand jolts, it got pushed, my thumb goes this way, like it got moved. And it's no joke, because at that moment, I thought Tyler tapped me and moved me like to, to like get me out of the session. And dude, now that I watched the footage over, it's actually kind of crazy. They were really trying to talk to me, and I think there was a lot of people talking and they were getting confused, but watch. Watch my thumb close. You. Me? There. Whoa, well, I felt touched on my thumb. I thought it was you. No. And I'm shocked. And I'm just like, okay, and I go back yeah. under because I'm still going. But that that's kind of crazy because that's almost almost like when my shirt was flowing. If you watch one of my other videos, when the ghost of the orphanage kid was like touching my shirt and moving it. So anyways, guys, thank you so much. I Right before we end this video, I'm just going to say it. Please check out all the merch, all the merch you help. Uh, the, the, you know, the stuff you buy really supports me and goes back into the content and videos. We did a good one, guys. I'm ending it here. Thanks, guys. Thanks yeah. for watching.